Just pulling the tractor forward a foot makes a huge difference on weight distribution. Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms. And today we're gonna do a little bit of a test with tow capacities as it relates to payload with different types of trailers. So I've got two new way safe hitches, one for the bumper pull and one for the gooseneck. And we're gonna load a couple of different trailers down to full capacity and then use these way safe hitches to see how much weight those loads are transferring onto the truck and experiment a little bit with how you load and how that affects payload. All right, let's open these boxes up. I ordered both of these off of Amazon. And if you're not familiar, they have a hydraulic gauge in them that shows you how much tongue weight you have. This is obviously the one for the bumper pull. And the nice thing about these is they aren't just for testing. You can use these all the time. The hitch I have on here now for my bumper pull trailers is one of those B&W reversible hitches. Turns out they don't actually have the tow capacity that I need. So I've got an expensive hitch that really isn't even rated to do the job. So this looks a lot like the B&W hitch in the design here. It is reversible like the B&W. The only difference is this is a two and a half inch instead of a two inch. The next difference is this doesn't have a swivel ball like the B&W. This has a pin you pull to switch out the ball. We are going to use this two and five sixteenths. So you drop it in here, put the pin in through the back, and this pin can't come out because it's blocked in when you slide it onto the upright. And basically what you have here is a gauge on the side and your hydraulic fluid is in here. When this pushes down, it just registers the amount of pressure on it. One thing to notice is that this gauge goes to 2200. Then after that, the remainder of the dial is just blocked out in red. That's because this is only rated for 2200 pounds. So something to think about, if you wanna weigh or measure a higher amount, make sure that your hitch is rated for a higher amount. This is more than I need it to be, so it'll work just fine. This has a locking pin system. I'm not actually crazy about the locking pin. It seems like a good way to lose your key and not be able to move your hitch. But it'll definitely do the job. So let's go ahead and get this put on. There's my adapter that I had to have with the B&W. See, this has the rating on it. Maximum GVWR, 10,000 pounds. I know I'm over 10,000 pounds just on my dump trailer, and I will be with the gooseneck as well. Maximum tongue weight, 1,000 pounds. Do not exceed recommended vehicle or towing ball weight recommendation. Do I think this is gonna snap off? No, probably not, but it just feels better to have something rated for the job. So, I think I'm going to want this a notch lower for my dump trailer. Also, while I'm at it, I think I'll flip it around, just show you guys how it looks when you reverse it. So if you reverse it and tuck it up, that's pretty sharp. You know, mine's a night edition. It matches just the flat black. There's probably a lot of people watching this who are in the just send it crowd and that's perfectly fine with me, but I would like at least once to establish all my weights and the ratings and how those match up so I know what I'm just sending. The dump trailer is empty right now, so it weighs 4,040 pounds. The number that I keep hearing as I have this conversation with people is that a bumper pull trailer will transfer 10% of the weight to the truck. And when I hooked up, I was on a hill. I thought maybe if I came down on flat ground, I would get a lower number, but it was 600 pounds when I hooked up. 
and moving it to flat ground it was maybe 550 you don't get an exact number but it was under 600 at that point if you do that math that means 13.6 percent of the trailer's weight is transferring onto the truck will that be a lower percentage when it's loaded probably but it also depends on how it's loaded how is the weight distributed by the loader so there's not much you can do about that with the dump trailer and having rock loaded but when I'm pulling a tractor or a skid steer or a vehicle that needs towed onto my gooseneck then how you load it will make a big difference so I'm gonna go get about five tons of rock and we'll see how our numbers check out then as I talk about payload and tow rating and how they relate to each other in this video, just keep in mind that the number one focus for me is that if the weight's not properly distributed on your trailers, you have a dangerous situation. I had an improperly loaded dump trailer go crazy behind the truck when I got up to speed and almost throw me off the road. And I made a video about it at that time and now I pay a lot more attention to weight distribution. First time pulling a full load with this new truck. Let's see how it handles it. I'm gonna be throwing quite a bit of numbers at you here but I'll try to focus on the numbers that are important for what I'm doing. So, empty, the truck and trailer weighed 12,760. When you subtract the trailer weight, the truck by itself weighs 8,500 pounds. I asked for five tons of rock. I got 500 pounds over that. So my trailer has a GVWR of 14,000 pounds and it's at 14,500 right now. So the trailer is technically overloaded by that math, but you get to transfer the fact that some of that weight's now on the truck. You actually get to subtract that weight. The weigh safe hitch is showing 1,700 pounds. So it's adding 1,700 pounds to my payload. Payload of the truck is 2,150 subtract my weight I have 1900 pounds I can pull behind this the next thing is I want to understand a good percentage to keep these numbers simple in the future when I'm estimating what I can and cannot haul so with a total weight of 23,400 pounds minus the truck weight I forgot the exact number but that was 15,000 something and I have 1700 pounds on the tongue. Doing that math adds up to 11.4% of my trailer weight transferring to the truck. So for now, until I do some more tests, when I pull a bumper trailer, I'm going to assume that 11% of the weight transfers to the truck. If I had a gooseneck dump trailer, then we would use that and do a comparison there, but I don't. So we're going to go dump this rock and we're gonna compare a gooseneck and a bumper pull with my tractor being pulled. We'll be going to a different set of scales and we'll see, we're going to a different set of scales and we'll see how the gooseneck and the bumper pull compare in terms of payload. Overall with this, I'm just happy that I can now fully load my dump trailer to its capacity and that does not exceed any weight rating or tow rating on the truck. Now I have four trips to make to the scales to establish my empty weights and my loaded weights on the bumper pull utility 
and on the gooseneck utility. It's also going to help me verify the weights I've been using as an estimate on what the tractor weighs. I don't want to waste a lot of your time with all that, so I'll just fill you in after each weigh-in. I just went through the scales with just the smaller utility trailer, which is a bumper pull, and my total weight was 10,280 pounds. That means that this trailer weighs 1,720 pounds. The gauge barely reads on the weigh safe. Looks like about 200 pounds, which would be the same 11% tongue weight that we saw the first time. This might have been a little bit boring to this point, kind of dry, it's just numbers, but this is where it becomes relevant because I pulled the tractor on here and checked the weigh safe. It says 1,100 pounds. Now if we do the math from what's been happening and say that 11.5% of the trailer weight is on the truck and then divide that backward, that would mean that this trailer currently weighs 9,500 pounds trailer itself only weighs 1,700 pounds, that would mean the tractor weighs 7,800 pounds and should never be hauled on this trailer. But I don't think it's that heavy. The base weight of this tractor from, you know, from John Deere is 3,000 pounds. But then you add the loader, the wheel weights, and the cab, the rear attachment, the uh, fluid in the tires, all that. I'm thinking the tractor might weigh 5,500 pounds which would make it actually still too heavy for this trailer, but only a little bit. There's no way in my mind it weighs 7,800 pounds, and we're about to find out exactly what it weighs. But what I take this number to mean is that I have the tractor too far forward, and that if I back it up a foot, that 1,100 pounds is now going to read 900. And that's a big difference. It's This lets me see, by knowing what all my equipment weighs, and what that tongue weight is, it lets me see if I'm properly centered on the trailer. So let's actually do that test and see how much difference it makes when I back the tractor up. I just moved the tractor from what I would estimate to be about six inches too far forward to maybe 10 or 12 inches too far back. And my tongue weight went from 1,100 pounds to 500 pounds. That's dramatic. And it tells me that I'm not in the right place. Based on what I believe that this tractor and trailer weighs, I should have 800 pounds of tongue weight. Because if we say 11.5% of a perfectly balanced trailer like that dump trailer should have been, 11.5% goes onto the truck. My estimate is this weighs 7,000 pounds, 11.5% of that is 805 pounds. So in theory, I should be able to pull this forward till that gauge reads 800 pounds and I'm parked in the right place. The interesting part is when I get that gauge to say 800 pounds, is the tractor going to be sitting where I think it should be? That, from now on, will tell me where to park the tractor. I have the middle of that wheel weight centered directly between these two axles. That's where it seems centered. I've been pulling forward another six inches till my bucket hits the front rail thinking that kind of sturdies everything up and that wouldn't make that much difference. Well, it does make more difference than I realized. As you can see, adding 300 pounds of tongue weight means that I've got my weight too far forward. Not a huge deal with the amount of weight I'm pulling, but just good information. Let's get this strap down and see what it actually weighs.
leaving the scales again and total weight 16,140 pounds that means that the tractor with the stump grinder and the bucket was 5,860 pounds so even heavier than I thought now that means that the trailer and the tractor currently weigh 7,580 pounds trailer is rated 7,000 GVWR so it sounds like it's overweight but the same thing I said about the dump trailer I've got 800 pounds of tongue weight that can be subtracted from the GVWR of the trailer which means I'm just a couple hundred pounds under capacity of the trailer but honestly when I drive the tractor on fully loaded like this, you can see the floor bow under the weight of the tractor. It's too heavy for the way this trailer is built. So I can use it in a pinch, but for the most part, I'm going to try to avoid hauling the tractor on this trailer, which is the purpose of buying the other trailer. When you might still see us do it is if I get a skid steer and I'm hauling it on the new trailer and we still want to take the tractor you might see us pull it on this trailer but that 800 pounds of tongue weight that we have right now is 10.5 percent of the weight of the trailer again all the numbers i saw ahead of time were 10 percent tongue weight on a bumper pull with the dump trailer it was 11 and a half so it's you can estimate but depending on how it's loaded, somewhere between 10 and 12% tongue weight on a bumper pull. And it basically tells me that my weight's distributed properly on this trailer. Okay, so now we're gonna start on the gooseneck test. Here's the nice case it came in. It's got a big easy to read gauge on the front. Goes in just like the puck system. I have a Kurt uh, gooseneck ball and these are part of the Kurt package, the chain hooks, because your, your way safe will not come with those. But it just pops in the same. You drop it down in and there's two little balls. You turn the key and they pop out and it's locked in. So let's get hooked up and, and see how much tongue weight we have with a dry tray. Last trip through the scales today, the truck and the gooseneck weighed 11,940 pounds. That means that the gooseneck by itself weighs 3,380 pounds. So I'm always going to think of that as a 3,400 pound trailer. Empty, I've got 700 pounds of tongue weight. That's a lot more. Uh, that's actually 21% of the weight of the trailer is on the truck. Now, once I load the trailer, that percentage is going to go down, but it looks pretty clear that you're going to get a higher percentage of tongue weight, which is what I started off expecting. I was expecting somewhere between 13 and 15 percent of the gooseneck's weight to rest on the truck. So we'll go get the tractor loaded up and see if that's how it comes out. Now, as I get ready to load the tractor onto the trailer, I already know how much everything weighs. So let me look at my notes here. The truck with the trailer, the tractor, the stump grinder on the tractor, that's all gonna weigh 17,800 pounds. The trailer and the tractor weigh 9,200 pounds. Now it comes down to where on the trailer do you park the tractor to get 13 to 15% of your weight coming onto the truck because that's what all this is about for me is how much tongue weight can you have without exceeding your payload and having the trailer be balanced because there's almost no wrong answer on a 5,000 pound tractor and this setup it's gonna be fine but hopefully within a couple months I'm hauling a 10,000 pound skid steer routinely with this rig at a 10,000 pound skid steer 3,400 pound trailer at 15% of 
that weight being transferred to the truck, you're over your payload. At 13%, you're fine. 14% is that number where a 10,000 pound skid steer doesn't exceed my payload. Let's get this loaded up and let's see what the numbers really look like. Where do I need to park to get that percentage? I parked the tractor the same way I would park it on my other trailer, and I only have a thousand pounds of tongue weight. With a 9,200 pound rig and a thousand pounds here, I'm at just over 10%, which a 10% distribution solves all my problems with the skid steer. So I'm gonna pull forward to the front and then see how that affects my reading and I think that's going to give me all the information I need to determine if I can pull a skid steer or not. So let's check that real quick. By pulling the tractor forward that far, I've doubled the tongue weight from 1,000 to 2,000 pounds. No one with any common sense would ever load their tractor all the way to the front of a trailer of this length. But it shows you how dramatically you can affect payload by the way you load. And I think being able to check every time and see how much weight I'm putting into the bed is a pretty handy feature. Handy enough to make me want to buy these hitches. So I definitely don't regret the purchase. I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put more of our videos over here, and I'll see you next time.